the disciples were all on fire with the power coming from the Holy Spirit to evangelize Europe and Asia. Paul himself, the disciple who was the most fired up, traveled a total of 16,000 kilometers from 45 AD to 64 AD on foot and by boat, a total distance equivalent of travel from Manila to New York and then to Las Vegas. Paul was beaten with rods, pelted with stone once, shipwrecked three times, bitten by a viper. Yet, he never lost focus or fervor for the faith, and he remained grateful and joyful despite his ordeals. In today's reading, Paul and Silas were stripped, severely whipped, and thrown into prison. In the dungeon, they kept on praising God, singing hymns as the other prisoners listened. Paul was practicing what he preached. In Ephesians, he said, Give thanks in everything. He wrote again to the Philippi converts some 12 years later these words, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. It would seem from the reading that because he and Silas remain in joyful praise in their captivity, the earthquake that freed them and the other prisoners were all a direct result of their prayer of praise. Father Douglas Albazi is an Iranian Chaldean Catholic priest. After his imprisonment and torture in Iraq under the ISIS, he was released and now takes care of thousands of Christian refugees who are at risk of genocide for their faith. He recounts his ordeal under the ISIS. Please don't look to me as a hero. I am just lucky. I'm still survival and I can talk about my own story. They blew up my church in front of me. I got shot by AK, AK-47 in my leg. And still the, the pole is still in my leg. Because they let me without water four days. And they bring water after five days. From the first day, they broke my noise. And during the day, from the first day, they put chains in my hand and they covered my eyes and that day they used hammer and they broke all my teeth and they they also broke my bag one of the disc was the chain that one in my hand so they were left 10 chains and one big lock here i used that those chains to pray my rosary and start with 10 till the lock and the lock is holy father in my life, I never pray rosary deeply like that time. Praising God in times of distress is not new to CFC missionaries who go to distant lands to fulfill the vision of couples for Christ, to be families in the Holy Spirit renewing the face of the earth. Brother Harold Gresha Oronya, who is the CFC country coordinator for Uganda, exemplifies those who praise God even in times of difficulty and trials. We were on our fourth mission to Uganda when it happened to us. While going out of the airport, we were robbed and our passports were among the things taken from us. At first, we did not mind it, thinking that we could just easily come back to UAE without a passport. We managed to conduct MER1 and MER2 giving talks and sharing. After we accomplished our mission agenda, it dawned on us. It might not be easy to get back to the UAE. We went to the UAE Embassy to get a travel document to the UAE, but it was denied. They said that we needed to go back to the Philippines to get new passports. We were devastated and terrified because we just took a short leave from our work in the UAE just to go on, on mission and our bosses did not know our whereabouts. We thought that we will be terminated from our jobs if we will go back to the Philippines, knowing that the process of securing the passports will take some time. Add to that, our three children were left in the UAE waiting for us. Coming out from the embassy, heavily burdened by the thought of being jobless and not being able to come back to the UAE, we went back to our hotel room, knelt down as a couple beside the bed, holding hands while thanking God for the gift of mission, for keeping us safe even if we lost our passports. As we praised God, tears started flowing from our eyes. We embraced each other with a, and with a big sigh, we asked God to help us in this situation. After our prayer, we immediately decided to go back to the Philippines, called one brother who immediately booked a ticket for us in less than an hour 
with a flight in less than three hours. We packed our bags, hurried to the airport with praises to God for the air ticket, which was a miracle because flights were full during those weeks as it was a holiday. While going to the airport, Brushok and Brun, uh, Nick sent me a message and offered us an accommodation in Manila at the house of Brother B-Boy Arguelles and Tito Joe Tali arranged for an appointment at the, at the DFA for our passport to be secured. Again, we praise God for the help of those brothers. When we arrived at the airport, we were surprised to see that the check-in counter was closed already. But with some plea to the airline staff, they allowed us to go, which again made us praise God even more. When we arrived for our connecting flight uh, to Manila through UAE, we decided to call our bosses uh, from the UAE airport and told them our situation and asked for an extension of our leave until we can go back. To our surprise, both our Emirati bosses said okay and told us to hurry up with the processing of our passports so we can come back to work and told us that whatever documents we needed for securing our passport uh, and UAE visa, they will be willing to help. This made us jump for joy at the airport and again praise God for this. To cut the story short, we got our passport in four days. Again, a miracle through the help of Tito Joe. We praised God again while coming out from DFA office and we got our UAE visa in Manila ready to get back to UAE in a very short time. After a few months, I was even surprised that I was promoted even if I was not able to work for almost a month due to what happened. My wife even got an increase in salary after a few months also. Until now, that event reminded us to always praise God no matter what happened. Looking back, it always gives us a smile, thinking of what God has done for us during that time. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant me the grace to always be joyful, to praise you, especially in times of trouble and difficulty, and trusting that you will hear my prayer, and this will lead me to a greater faith in you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ.